I think you had to do the stump thing from the from like this. Okay. All right. Well, let's do what Maya said. Let's add a stem. My stem's a little bit curved, like that. Anyone else have any other ideas of what I should draw to make it look like more like a pumpkin? We're not on the coloring stage yet, so I don't need to know what color it needs to be. I need to know what else I need to draw. Jaden, what else should I add to my pumpkin? Lines. Okay, I'll do some lines. Maybe I'll do some lines on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna add four on the bottom and four on top like that. Mine looks kind of interesting. I'll hold it up to you guys so you guys can see. You guys see that? I kind of like one like that, kind of. The reason why I didn't make my lines going all the way down and all the way up, the reason why I didn't connect them is because sometimes people like to add a face on theirs. So if you want to add a face to your pumpkin, you could do so. Maybe sometimes people like to add triangles for eyes. And then for a mouth, I like to do kind of like squares that look like U's for the two top teeth. And then I connect those two together with a line. And then all I do is create a smile on the bottom of that and connect it to those two squares to make it look like a mouth, like that. Good job. Uh, there is an optional thing if you'd like to do. Sometimes people like to add a vine. In order to do a vine, I'm just gonna do a loop-de-loop, -loop, like that. And sometimes people like to add a leaf to that. If you wanna add a leaf to your pumpkin, you can. And if you're faster than me, and you're way ahead, um, you could just start coloring it if you want. But if you're falling behind, it's okay. We'll wait for you. So I'm just going to color my eyes maybe yellow. Maybe I will color my mouth yellow too. To symbolize that there's like a candle or some sort of light coming from the inside. Maybe I'll trace my vine green. If I wanted to add a leaf, I could. But I won't. I'm just going to trace the vine green. And last but not least, maybe I should color the rest of it orange. Like so. There we are. Ta-da. Pumpkin. All right. Awesome job. All right. I am going to move a tad bit faster. Now. Remember how I told you guys we're doing three things? So the next object that we draw, it can't be super big. We wanna make sure we have room for the third and last one, okay? So for this next part, it's gonna be the ghosts. What I'm gonna draw, oh, sorry, it's blurry again. What I'm gonna draw is an upside down U to make the top of the head. And notice how it's in the middle of the paper and notice how I'm not taking up my whole page. I'm leaving room for my last thing. Okay. Once you do an upside down U, you're going to curve the outside of those lines outwards a tad bit. So it's like this, just a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, kind of like a wave on the bottom, kind of like bed sheets. I'm just going to wave the bottom and then connect those two points together, just like so. Pretty cool, huh? All right. You can decorate your ghost any way you want. I've seen people do like an oval for a mouth so it looks nice and surprised. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make my mouth uh, kind of like a falling down capital D, kind of like this. I'm going to make my mouth a little bit different because I want my ghost to be really cute. So if you want to do an oval for a mouth, you can. Or if you want to do like a falling down, like uppercase D, you can. And then I'm going to create an oval inside this mouth to represent the tongue. Okay. Uh, you could do any eyes you want. 
if you want to do cute eyes, you can do cute eyes. If you want to do angry eyes or scary eyes, you can. For my eyes, I'm just going to create two nice big circles. And then for my arms, I want to make them super tiny and cute. Maybe I'll put an arm right here and another arm right here. One inside the body and one outside the body. So it looks like it's going for a hug. <laughs> All right. You can color this uh, ghost any way you want. I'm just going to add purple on the inside of the mouth. And then maybe I'll add teal eyes, maybe. Like aqua eyes. There we go. Nice and creepy, but cute. All right. I only have four minutes left, and I had to uh, hurry up a tad bit, unfortunately. But I do have first grade to go to. So the last one is a skull. Okay. So if you're falling behind, you can always color it later. Here we go. For the skull, kind of like how we did for the pumpkin, you're going to do an oval, but instead, you're going to leave the bottom of that oval blank. Just like that. And then underneath this oval, you're going to create an open square, kind of like how I did. When you're done, it looks kind of like a keyhole. All right. Next step. I understand I'm going a little bit fast as I'm running a little out of time. Next step. I'm going to create a tad bit of a smile right around here. And then I'm going to kind of create lines going up and down on that smile to represent teeth. But it's a skull. I'm going to create two nice big eyes, one right here, one right here. And then here's my favorite part. If you have trouble drawing a skull nose, some people, what they do is that they just turn the paper completely upside down. They draw a heart where the nose should be. And once they draw a heart where the nose should be, they turn their paper right side up again. And there, a skull nose. Pretty cool, right? I want to color my skull any way I want. Maybe I'll add, hmm, I'll make this one a tad bit different. I'll make the eyes blue with a little bit of a white in the, in the bottom. And then I'll make the nose, hmm, pink, because I want to. <laughs> All right, so this is my example. Uh, here's my other example from the previous class. You guys want to see what I did for the other class? So I did a different ghost instead from the last class. So there you go. Those are my two examples from both classes. There you go. All right, nice and fun. Oh, I see uh, Lila, you were holding yours up. Good job. Awesome. Aza, nice job. That's really cool. Oh, wow, everyone's holding theirs up now. Awesome. All right, the time now is 9.29. I'm going to stop my recording first. <laughs>